He was a happy-go-lucky guy. He, uh, <clears throat> he, uh, it just took me by surprise on what happened. Now, as a child, you, are you around 66 years old, too? Then? I'm 65. He was two years older than me. His brother is the same age as me. He was a two years ahead of me. I went to high school with his brother. What did so, you know about his political beliefs? Uh, that I, I don't know anything about that. Did he have political signs here in front of the house? Uh, not that I know of. Through the years, he, he, he didn't back down from stuff. I mean, he was in a few fights that, and stuff like that, but nothing that would uh, demonstrate violence as far as what he did. What, what, do you like, what, what do you mean by that, like fights with people? Well, he never backed down from anybody. In a bar fight or whatever, he, he stood his ground. But it was the kind of kid stuff, or was it, was, it political? No, it was something that most guys do. I just want to let people know that he wasn't evil, that he was, I guess, tired of some of the politics that are going on, just like in this state. We got politicians collecting a paycheck and doing absolutely nothing for it. I don't know his politics, but, but I can see how he's pretty well fed up with some of this stuff. I'm fed up with what's going on in this state. He was passionate in what he believed in. Would you call him an out-of-control guy, or was he no. pretty much in control? He was in control. Did he the have any mental okay. issues? That no, that not, not that I know of. Not that I know of. But whatever he believed in, he stood behind it 100%.